Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at how to solve a system of equations by substitution. So we have solved the following system by substitution. We have 2x plus 4y equals negative 10 and we have x minus y equals 4. Now the concept here, these are uh, two linear equations and we're trying to find the point of intersection but we're going to do this algebraically. So if we have uh, a look at these few steps here, we could break this problem down into stages. So the first thing we want to do is solve one of these equations for x or y. Now the key at this step is to pick the one that's easier to solve for. So if we look at both of these, the second equation is easier to solve for. So we start off, we have x minus y equals 4. We could solve for x in one step by adding y to both sides of this equation. Technically, if we wanted to, we could solve for y, but that would take two steps. So we solve in as few steps as possible. So we have x equals 4 plus y. So once we complete this step here, we're going to plug this result into the other equation. So we solve the second equation for x. So we're going to plug our result into the first equation. So we're going to replace x with what we just solved for, x equals 4 plus y. So all we're going to do here is we're going to replace the x with 4 plus y and solve this equation for the variable y. So for the next line, we're going to distribute. We'll have 8 plus 2y plus 4y equals negative 10. Combine like terms. We have 8 plus 6y equals negative 10. And then from here, we have two steps. So we're going to subtract 8 and then divide by 6. Okay, after we divide by 6, we have y equals negative 3. But do not stop at this step. A lot of students solve for one of the letters, and they stop. So remember, your answer should be a coordinate. It needs an x and a y component. So this tells us we need to solve for x. The key, though, to make this simple is to plug in to one of the original equations. But you should plug into the one that we solve for in the first step here. If we plug into this, notice it already says x equals. So then we'll have x equals 4 plus y, which tells us x is equal to 1. So if we want to write out our solution formally, our solution is 1, negative 3. Now this is our final answer, and this is correct. However, I strongly advise at this step, take a few extra seconds to check. And the way we check, we're going to plug in the point 1, negative 3 into both of the original equations to see that it produces a true equation. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on how to solve a system of equations by substitution. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.